Bringers of Death. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's what I wanted today. That's not something you like to see. You see footsteps going down towards the water and duct tape. Like somebody was tied up or something. Like getting drugged towards the water. We're at two intense in and we're already getting this stuff. Yo, holy sh- Yo, what's up guys? It's like the third time I try to record this intro as you can hear from the enthusiasm in my voice. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. No, it is actually the third time, but we're back here again today. We're doing some Nautica in this blazing 10 degree, uh, hot summer day in Illinois. Um, we have a heat wave going on right now. Actually, it's kind of true because it is 10 degrees out today in the string of, you know, negative 30 degree days. So it is kind of warm. Um, but yeah, so I figured what better day is there to get out there and do some random nautica. Um, we got some intentions picked out and uh, I don't know, let's see it. Let's see what we can get into today, into today. So let's roll that intro and get started. All right, guys, so we are out here and um, we are doing our first intent. And it's just, I gotta walk through some snow. It is uh, good, 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 good. Oh, this is really deep snow actually. All right, today's already not going as according to plan as I had hoped that it would. <sighs> Thankfully, our intent is not too far down this trail. Anyways, today's intent is brought to us by Angie Shea. And Angie's intent is Golden Goose. So we are gonna do that. It's actually right up here around this bend. So it's not, it's not too far, but in like shin deep snow, it kind of, oh, that doesn't sound good. Shin deep, shin deep snow kind of sucks. Definitely getting a workout here. But today, guys, I actually dressed up for the elements, and uh, yeah, so we're doing a little bit better today than we were on my last ran in Nautica. Whew, okay, intent the point, literally right here. So yeah, it was only it wasn't too far of a walk. All right. So, let's see what we got. I'm not seeing anything so far. Golden goose. Expected something gold. Something goosey. Something ah, uh, that's that's uh, has to do with uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking for. We're looking for something. So, okay. Um, I hope I'm not too loud. Here's the thing. I have a microphone on here. I have a shotgun microphone. It's called which uh, it picks up sound whichever way it's pointing. So, if I have it pointing forward. Sometimes it doesn't pick up like me talking very well. I sound kind of like muffled, like blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm trying something new and I'm pointing it straight back at my face, but it's only like, like it's, it's long. It's like, a, it's like eight inches 
It's like an eight-inch long microphone. So it's only like half a foot from my mouth. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too loud. And hopefully the audio isn't like clipping out on you guys. Um, but anyways, let's look around. I am adequately dressed for once, kind of. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not. Um, but uh, got, got some layers on. Got, uh, got uh, thermals on. Got hoodie, thick coat, gloves. Uh, some very, very, very thick wool Carhartt socks that I didn't even know I had and found them in the closet with the tag still on them. And some gloves, which the gloves kind of suck, but you know, they're better than nothing. So yeah, I literally have no idea what golden goose could be for an intent. Uh, it doesn't make, yeah, it doesn't make, it's very, very, very um, broad. But the thing is, is I don't think anybody's been back here because I saw a lot of footprints, but these are mine and the rest of them are like animal tracks, like deer and stuff like that looks like so yeah i uh i don't i don't know exactly um what we're looking for because it doesn't look like anything has been planted all right uh right now i'm just wandering in circles this bore this video is probably super boring <laughs> uh oh there's something see something sticking out of the snow It's a lighter. It is a lighter. I wonder if it works. I don't know if I can light it in these gloves. Oh, we got... We got spark. We got, I see a little bit of flame. I mean, it's burning. Yeah, it's burning my glove. Alright, we got a lighter. Cool. Um... I don't know what that has to do with the golden goose, but you know what, I'll take it. It's always good to have a lighter in your car or on your person just in case anything happens. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around here or if we are gonna move on to the next area. I'm not seeing anything else. I'm also not looking very closely. That's cause, I don't know, I'm already cold. And uh, whenever I'm, I get led to an area like this, it's kind of always frustrating to do random nautica just because there's like so much overgrown stuff um so many areas where something could possibly be um and just with the snow makes everything like kind of impossible to look through so um so we're gonna head back to the car and run another intent we'll say that we'll say that we'll say we've got we'll say that lighter is the golden goose of lighters. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, thanks for the intent. We got a lighter with it. And uh, that works for me. <sighs> Dude, the snow is so thick right here. man this is the first and last intent that i do today that's uh down any sort of trail i'm going to be setting intents that are very close to the road from here on out today that's for sure all right guys we are on our second intent and this is from kathy i believe and it's a message from the other side very very interesting ominous intent um yeah i uh don't know what to be prepared for but it is in the middle of this bridge so nice stroll out there that i don't have to walk through water i mean not water snow i guess technically water and I'm happy. But yeah, it crosses this river. Another one of these creepy signs. Danger, no swimming. I don't know. 
something about that is just like, I don't, I don't know what it is, it's just like unsettling that sign. I don't know if it's to do with just his arms above the water or, uh, or what, but especially now, like, I mean, obviously you're not going to swim now, but dude, falling through ice is like one of my biggest fears. I mean, I think that's anybody, one of, and one of anybody's biggest fears is like falling through ice. Cause I just think like falling through and then like getting sucked under the ice and oh, not being able to get out, man, oh, it's giving me chills just thinking about it. Or maybe that's just because it's cold. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Either way. Um, all right. We're going to... Ooh, this bridge is icy. Icy, icy. So we got to be careful out here. Oh, cool. It is a nice day out. Despite the cold, it's like... It's like seriously such good winter vibes out today. You know what's crazy? Let me flip this mic back. You know what's crazy is this is like like after today, this seems like kind of like it for winter. Or not today, after this week. Because like looking at the extended forecast, which they've actually been pretty good about um lately, it says that it's gonna be like 40s next month. Yeah, like 40s in February. So, and then like the week after this one, it's supposed to be like high 30s. So this literally might be the first and only like big winter push that we get. And we might be, you know, kind of out of it. Point is coming up, I know. Um, all right, I gotta flip the microphone back around. So I was telling you guys about the microphone, like, when I use it, um, when I use it, uh, I got, I like, like it's like a, sh like a, sh it's called a shotgun microphone. So I, I was flipping it around so you guys could hear me better. But like I said, like there's only like that much space between the end of the microphone and my face. So like if I hold my camera like I usually do, my mouth is like in the microphone. So I have to like hold it out like, like at arm's length and yeah, I get fatigued a lot faster. So I don't know, um, but there is a good, uh, good news to this. Anyways, we're at the point, I think, um, I've been kind of trying to memorize the points just because, just so, uh, just so I don't have to take my, my gloves off to like look at the phone and stuff. So I, I know I'm like approximately at the point right now. Um, trying to walk in the snow a little bit because it's, it's less slippery. Got a little bit of traction. All right, let's see what we can find. This is, uh, I think, what was it? Message from the other side, note from the other side. So we're looking, I'm looking around here. I'm looking in between these uh, bridge supports to see if there's anything. So a lot of times, a lot of times we have been, dude, I cannot talk today. A lot of the time we have found things in like the support areas of the bridge. So that's kind of what I got the idea to like look at them or look for, you know, I always check there. As of right now, I don't see anything, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the end, then we'll turn around and check the other side. I don't see any. Oh, let's check these snow banks too, because the other day uh, we did get, we did find a notebook shoved into a snow bank. I don't know why, but we did, we did get that. Gotta avoid this yellow snow from the dogs. <laughs> I don't see anything. So we'll make our way back down that way. But, um, a little update for you guys um, from the other night. Uh, I've had no issues with the stalker after that whole laser pointer incident. 
Um, I don't know what that was about. I uh, obviously I think it was just something to like scare me. And uh, yeah, but I told uh, told Brad about it. He didn't know what to think about it. Um, but yeah, dude, just ran an audit. Ran an seemed to be getting wilder and wilder now recently. I mean, it's never been chill, but like, I don't know. It seems to have picked up. It seems to be getting super crazy again. Are we really gonna find nothing? Man, I gotta be so disappointed if we find nothing. Oh! Something jammed in there. Definitely says Budweiser. No one goose. Old boy's flying by himself. Dude, I can't believe that geese are still here in the, towards the end of January. That just kind of shows you how mild this winter has been. You usually do like, I know I talk about it a lot, but those guys are usually gone by like November. All right, what do we got? Ugh. We have Budweiser. Oh, that was a cigarette pack at first, but it was like, Budweiser doesn't make cigarettes. They make, they make crappy beer. And then guys, okay. All right, you know what? Before, let me clarify. Let me clarify. I hate all light beer. That was not <laughs> a statement due to their, con their controversy that they've had going on the past year. Um, I don't, whatever, you know, I don't have opinion on it simply because, you know, it's, it's whatever. My opinion doesn't matter. So, <laughs> I'm saying that not because it's Budweiser, because their beer sucks. So, just, just to clarify, because I know people are going to be like, oh, why are you saying that? And other people are going to be like, oh, good job, Dan, yeah, that's why Budweiser sucks. And it's like, no, no, no. Finding, <laughs> I hate all light beers <laughs> equally. Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, all of those, they all suck. Actually, I hate a lot of beers. Barely any of them are very good to me. I'd rather have like a Red's Apple Ale or an Angry Orchard or Woodchuck Cider. As you can tell, I like ciders or uh, something like that. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that was not a political statement. Anyways, okay, moving on. Moving on. You know, it's, it sucks that I have to clarify that, dude. But whatever. We're not getting. We're not going to get into politics here. We're not going to get into social commentary here, because you know what? I know you guys aren't watching videos to hear about politics or social commentary, and I don't care about either of them. So I'm not going to drag you into it, because I don't care. I can't pretend to care. But I know a lot of you guys watch the videos to get away from all that stuff. Um. So yeah, I. Even if I did have. A, an opinion on everything. I would not be forcing it upon you in these videos. Anyways, so we I went off on a rant. I went off on a rant about Budweiser and how I hate all beer. And we haven't even examined this intention, but can you guys see that? Pick a card. What? A card. Uh oh, my microphone battery is low. Pick a card. Dude, what's that mean? All right, we're gonna have to look at this in my car. Um, simply, obviously, it wants me to open it, but we're gonna have to look at this in my car simply because it's just too cold out right now and I'm not gonna stand on a bridge a windy bridge and like pick through cards one by one well how many is there like 52 cards in the pack 
So we're gonna go sit in my car. We'll look through, oh, excuse me, we'll look through them. See if there's any sort of a message or whatever. Oh man. Got some, got some, uh, got some air in the stomach, almost like I drink a crappy Bud Light. All right, hopefully you guys can see me all right. Um, where did the cards go? Where did I put the cards? Son of a... I already, I already misplaced the cards. All right, got them. Got the cards. All right, here we go. We're good. We're good. All right, let's see what's on these things. Okay, so as it says, pick a card. Pick a card, I don't I don't know what that means. Hold on, we got somebody coming in here. All right, we're back. I always, there was, there was a car pulling in here. It looked like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but there's like this, uh, this, this, certain colored jeep it was like a silver jeep that was like following me around on one of the random nauticas and it matched the description but they pulled in they left i don't know the guy wasn't like staring at me or anything literally just looked like he was turning around but i got paranoid and positioned my car in a better area of escape plus i wanted to be out of the sunlight and want that shining directly onto my face ruining the shot anyway so hopefully you guys are cool with me sitting in my car Hopefully it's not too boring, but it's just too cold outside to look through this stuff outside. Usually, you know, I'll go through it on the spot, but it's just too much. But yeah, it says pick a card right on the front. And it's like, it's in like that paint. That paint that I found a lot of intense. So, yeah, here's, yeah, here we go. Of, of course. Good. 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 Oh, awesome. This is just great. So here's what's on the cards. Uh, we got an R on the first one, a backwards R on the second one, uh, backwards R on another one. Uh, great, good. That's that's what I wanted to see. And if you guys aren't aren't up to date with the R's, I don't know what it is. Okay, I I don't. We've been getting, and I say we because Brad and I have both been getting R's on some of the things we find. Like they've written straight up like R on it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, he doesn't know what it is. So he thinks it's some group um, that they, th that good, good. This is what I wanted to get today. Um, here's, here's a good one. We own you. Great. That's what I want. That's, that's what I wanted to. And some of these are just blank. That's what I wanted to get today. I was, you know, I was like, Random Nautica is just too easy today, guys. I, I want to get something um, like like that, that I, I want to get threatened. It's just, you know, I feel too safe doing Random Nautica today. Oh, oh, good, good. Bringers of Death. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what I wanted today. Uh, Keeper of the Dead. Oh, good, good, that's, that's it. That is it. Oh man, yeah, that's. Well, I'm really, really thrilled that I went out and did random nautica in this cold weather today to once again get stuff like this. Another R this time facing forwards. Bro, dude, this is this is just so ridiculous, man. We're the, we're the, we're like. In the set, we're it too intense in, and we're already getting this stuff. Just straight up like threats, threats and symbols that I I don't know what they mean. Another R, great. We know where you are. Good. That's that's the card I wanted to get. Another R, uh, one that just says death on it. Great. Uh, Right, very, very original stalkers. Death, how, how scary. Um, thank you for for taking some real. Oh, another one. Death. Thank you, stalkers. Thank you for uh, for giving me such original, uh, original, well thought out 
um, intense. And I'm just skipping the ones that say R's. Pain. Pain. Very edgy. Very edgy. Thank you, stalkers. That's really incredible what great messages you left me. You left me a whole bunch of clues to who you really are. Wow. Incredible. So, the second intent that we got is just a bunch of threats written on playing cards. Great. Great, that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Out here freezing just to be threatened. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, so much fun, dude. So much fun. Anyways, um, not letting that distract me. I am, actually, but not letting that distract me. So Brad and I have been getting a bunch of threats and, like, messages from this group that seems to be... He, I think he found a name for them um, that he mentioned. Like, the Reflectionists, Reflectionists, something like that. And their group just goes, like, by an R. So he's gotten stuff with them and the, and their like symbol, and I've gotten stuff from them with their symbol. And it was actually you guys who pointed it out. You're like you guys told me you were like, "Hey, Brad got the same stuff," and I was like, "That's okay. That's weird. That we find like the same stuff at the same time in two different countries." Granted, Brad and I aren't that terribly far apart from each other, um, but I mean it's you know, a half day's trip to get, less, less than a half day's trip for me to get up to Brad or vice versa. But uh, it's just, I don't know, dude, it's just really bizarre. So that seems like it's from them because it's just that same letter R and yeah. Anyways, uh, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna set another intent. But yeah, there you go, stalkers. You got your exposure. That's what you wanted, right? Want me to open up the cards on camera and be like, oh, we're watching you. Yeah, think of some more original stuff. Okay, think of, think of some more original stuff. I've heard that one before. All right, guys, I'm gonna set another intent, and we're gonna we're gonna run another one. All right, guys. So the wind has actually died down a little bit. Uh, I ended up across on the other side of the river in the neighborhood, and there's an intent right across that snow. I like how this glove always makes my finger look like it's bent <laughs> at the end. Um, but there's a there's an intent right down here. Looks like it's a, yeah, a, a public boat launch. An Illinois public boat launch. So we're gonna go check it out. But the intent's right down there. Oh, speaking of the intent, hold on one second. I'll let you guys know exactly what it is because I didn't say that. I wanna give the person who left it a proper shout out. Okay. So this intent is from uh, um, Adam, Adam Pelkey, Pelkey, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, Adam, but this intent's from Adam Pelkey, and uh, doing Adam's intent of, uh, of all the intentions, all the intentions, I like that, uh, very unique, so, um, uh, get my glove back on. That's what we're doing. I said it, and it's like I said, it's leading me. It's leading us down here, uh, right by the water. See, a few people have been down here already. Dude, winter vibes out here are immaculate, bro. That's that's not something you like to see. See footsteps going down towards the water and duct tape. Like somebody was tied up or something, like getting drugged towards the water. If there was like, if there was like drag marks, then I'd be kind of concerned, but <laughs> thankfully that's not the case. So anyways, let's see what we can find. What if, what if, what if Adam's intention comes true and it's just literally like every intention I found just sitting in boxes around here? I don't know what I'd do. Back my car up and load them all up, I guess. So I'm not sure. Oh, there's where the ice begins. I can see from the footprints. 
I was like, I'm not sure where this ice begins. But yeah, there's, should we, should we test, should we push our luck? See how thick the ice is? The answer to that question is yes. Seems fairly thick. Oh yeah, my weight's on it. Dude, this is slick. Yes, I know ice is slick, but like, super, oh wow, look at that. Looks like people have walked way far out on here. You can see the footprints go like all the way out. Dude, look how far out they go, dude. I would not walk out on a river. Look at, yeah, dude, I would not walk that far out on the river. I, I did not trust the river ice that much. Like, I mean, props to you, but like where we are, no way. No way would I do that. I'm not sure what river this is either. If it's the Fox or uh, I'm not by the Mississippi. I don't know if this is the Fox or the Rock River. I'm not very good with my uh, my geography. And honestly, I just didn't pay attention because <laughs> I'm I'm in, I'm not too far from either of them. And uh, yeah, but no, I would not. I would not uh, go out on this. No way. It's f farther than I am right. Okay, I'll go out a little bit further. <laughs> Me, Dan. You know, one of my biggest fears is, is falling through the ice and getting sucked away. Also, Dan, I'll see how far I can walk out on the, the frozen river. Look at this, that's what's scary, it looks like it's... All right, we're done, we're done with the ice. We're done with the ice. This isn't, this is rain and Nautica not walk on the ice. Sorry guys, I was, I got caught up walking on the ice. You know how easily distracted I am if you watch this channel for more than five seconds. Okay, anyways, let's look around this video. Yeah, let's look around this video, guys. Let's look around this area for all the intentions. Yeah, I'm just like right across from where I was on that last intent. So, I could have just walked across the bridge and walked over to it, but I was already in my car and it was already routing me around. So, maybe there's something here. Dude, I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe over there. That seems like some so place they'd hide something for sure, right? Maybe. So I can't. Then again, I guess I can. I mean, technically, I can. Yeah, there might be something hidden over there because I just thought about that. I can walk on the ice over there. It's like I can't reach that, but yeah, I can walk out on this ice over there. Trying not to slip. Gotta shuffle my way over. I keep hearing this. Like this, this these uh, plants like hit against each other. I keep thinking it's ice cracking. Is there anything in there? I don't see. Oh, what's that? This empty container. I don't know, guys. Maybe there's nothing here. Oh, no. Actually, I could check up there by where I parked. I could check up there. Because the point was here, but of course the point uh, encompasses 
we do we search a hundred feet around the point so I think that was just the ice popping from the middle of the uh, middle of the river I just heard it or like a crack I don't think it's breaking but I think it's making noise okay uh, yeah we'll go up there we'll look around Let's check here real quick or something There's something in the snow, something blue and gray. Yo. This is literally the same walkie-talkie I found on Intent. The same exact one. Trying to blow the snow out of it. I think it has batteries though. Dude, this is literally the same radio we found before. What is going on, man? The stalkers used to communicate to me with this before. The stalkers have another one of these. And I have the other one. And I know mine, my radio is at home for sure. Um, I almost brought it with me just in case I got another note from them about something. But I left it, or I'm heading back to the car. But I left it at home today. I know it's at my house 100%. Unless somebody got into my house, stole it, and brought it all the way out here. But I know mine's at home. So either this is a fluke. So yeah, a couple options either. This is a fluke. I just found another one. Uh, so this is the one the stalkers have been using and I found it. Or somebody broke into my house, stole it and brought it out here in the course of two hours, hour and a half, two hours. No, it's about two hours I've been out now driving in an hour running in tents. That doesn't make any sense. And flukes, flukes are exceptionally rare during Randonautica. So I have a feeling it's one of the other options. All right, I'm back. Um, so this is very odd. I don't know why we got this. I don't know what significant it, significance it has. Or why it's out here. Or whose it is. I mean, I'd like to think. I'd like to think, oh, you know, I just found another of the same radios. Like, that's completely unrelated. Likely, most likely that's now what happened most likely this is like i said either mine was taken from my house or it's the stalkers it has no it's, either it has no batteries in it or it's battery it has no batteries and a note fell out of it there was just a note in it like there's just a note in it like this I ripped it. Glory to the protectors. Oh, and there's something on the back. Bring us more. Glory to the protectors. Bring us more. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Dude, what I kind of think this is, I think this is just off the bat. So recently, I've been dealing a lot with this, this cult, and I had some very aggressive stalkers. And one night, this is about, about two weeks ago now, the video's up, I think it's like three or four videos ago. 
But one night I had one of the cult stalkers break into my house, or cult members I should say, break into my house with the bloody mask of a stalker and a hammer. And I, he popped out. Well, I guess I was just, he, he killed my power somehow, he popped out. And uh, yeah, and then he disappeared. And then I found another, uh, like two videos ago, two or three videos ago, I found another stalker's mask out in the middle of a, of a forest area uh, in during a snowstorm with uh, no explanation. And then the, uh, the cult, one of the cult guys popped out in front of my car and sent me a message on this radio. So, or on the one I have in my house. So I don't know, because what it seems like is, because at first, the first time I had in a run-in with the cult, or a run-in with the stalkers, they, they gave me one of these radios and they told me to go to a location and I brought them an intent that I found out there what ha or whatever it was and uh, yeah. And then the next time the cult communicated with me on that implying they took it away from one of the stalkers, their radio, and we're using it now. So either there's more than two of these radios out which I'm, I've seen these radio, like similar radio cell in four packs or the cult took it from one of those guys and has given it to me. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me right now. It, it just does. It just does not make any sense. But ugh. all right, ugh. guys. So this is what we're gonna do. I am going to take a break from do running intense uh, and. I'm gonna run one more intent, but we're gonna wait uh, for it to be nighttime. Um, I try, I, I've been trying to do half and half, half day, half night, but just with how cold it's been out, and right now that's why I'm in my car explaining, and you know, not outside, because I've been trying to stay out more, explain to you like everything like that, and not just sit in my car and talk to a camera. Um, I've been trying to do that more, but this, these couple videos are an exception, so bear with me because it is just so brutally cold out. So I'm only gonna do one intent at night. Um, last, the last video I did where I ran into that stalker with a with a like laser pointer, or whatever it was, or, or rifle maybe, but um, whatever. Ran into the stalker with the laser, whether it's a pointer or a rifle, I don't know. But that was just, that was disgustingly cold out, and I regretted it. Um, so yeah, I'm only going to do one intent tonight, but we're going to wait for it to get dark. We're going to run our last intent and see what we get. If it's not too bad, I might do two at night tonight. But I don't know, guys. Uh, that's where we stand right now, and uh, I'll see you guys, uh, well, for you, a couple seconds for me in a couple hours. All right, we are out here. I think it's gonna be the last intention of the evening, guys. Uh, supposedly we have snow coming in. So I don't wanna be caught out here because I still got a long drive back home. But this last tent led, led me to the middle of nowhere. And this is uh, weirdly horrific. And this was submitted by uh, the viewer, uh, Angel Blue. So Angel, thank you so much for your intent. Um, and I was actually lucky enough to be able to pull right up to the point. The point's literally right here. So, yeah, I just came down the road, stopped right here. But there is, what I notice, a lot of snow. So this might prove challenging to find an intention because it still looks super deep. So we're going to just poke around this area. But yeah, guys, uh, really horrific. I figured it'd be a good intent for tonight. A good scary intent to go out on tonight. <laughs> Since, I mean, we've already been getting kind of scary stuff. What's this over here? 
thought it was like a little pocket or something. Dude, we're like, we're like out here, dude. We're like in the middle of nowhere. It's so quiet when the snow falls too. It's so weird, dude. Um. Okay, I don't see anything. We're gonna keep poking around this area though. There's footprints here. Footprints that lead over there. I'm tempted to investigate them because I'm parked so close. If I need to get out of here, I, I can relatively easily. I don't think that'd be wise. Hold on. Let's check around this rock. Look, what's this? What's this? <sighs> Nothing. It looked like I saw, I saw this like that part and I was like, oh, so like something was placed there. But I guess not. Dude, I am, I must say, I'm kind of getting bad vibes out here. I don't know what it is. But since I saw those footprints, the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. So I'm kind of thinking about abandoning this because the intense that we've already gotten today definitely weren't of the friendly variety. There's threats on the playing cards, the, the radio with a message in it. So it's not, you know, somebody's not out here looking to hang out and have a good time, you know. Something not good. And I feel it, dude. I know, I know that sounds weird, but dude, but I feel it like in the air, like something is not right out here. And it's not just my nerves. It's not just my nerves. There's something off. Dude, I really think I should leave. Maybe leave. I was thinking about leaving, maybe setting another intent on my way, like back towards my house, like in the town. All right, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna poke around for a little bit longer. If we don't find anything, so be it. But we'll just, we'll explore this, this line of snow. And then uh, if there's nothing, we'll get out of here. I'm not going, I'm not gonna trudge through the snow though. That was deep. Where those footprints are, that was deep. I'm also like I'm also kind of wondering if there was an intent and it's now like bare it was buried by the plows, you know. I don't know when these roads got plowed. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking happened. I'm not I don't know. I don't know. This is all guessing, guys. It's still super cold out here too. My my screen's lagging again. Liquid crystal splay starting to get cold. There's nothing out here. Yeah, I think this I think this honestly might be an L. No matter what. Wait a second. Those footprints only go one way. You see that? Wait a second, what's that? Wait, what is that? Yo! Holy s! Holy! I don't know what to say about that. That was 
Oh man, I told you guys, I told you, like, I have a bad feeling. Like, there's something not right when I pulled, not even when I pulled up, I pulled up, it was fine. Like, it seemed chill, you know, it seemed like we're doing another random audit or another intent, whatever. You know, I knew I wasn't going to, into any forest. I knew I wasn't going far from my car. I saw where the point was. I literally could park right next to it. So I was like, all right, bet. That's fine. Let's run it. Let's get it done so I can get home. Um, I pull up there, get out. And it's like when I saw those footprints, when I saw those footprints, I don't know if I just realized something was off subconsciously or whatever. But that time I did not, I wasn't like, it wasn't my nerves because I've been getting like, you know, a gut feeling and my nerves confused sometimes just because so much stuff happens in this random nautica that, you know, whenever I do it, even in the day, sometimes I'm on edge. Like, even if I had to go out in the forest during the day, I'm like kind of on edge. Like today wasn't so bad. Cause I was like, you know, kind of by a city, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. You know, there's other people around whatever you know it's it's a nice false even if it's a false sense of security it's you know still somewhat of a sense of security and um yeah but when i got out there and i saw those footprints like alarms were going off in my head and i was like something is wrong something is not right out here i didn't know i couldn't i i didn't know what it was i didn't know if there's somebody else out there or just like it's something not right. And then I noticed those footprints that as, as we continue to look for the intent, I noticed that that set of footprints go one way. And I think I, it, I didn't, it didn't click for me exactly at the time, but I think that's why I subconsciously thought like those are going one way, but not back the other way. And then, uh, I get out there and then there's the the bull masked cult guy with what appeared to be some sort of machete. And that's it's not the first time we've seen him with a weapon. But I think Yeah, we've seen him with a weapon before. But he like he actually like took a swing. So he, uh, he wasn't, I, I, I don't think he was like trying to hurt me more than he was just, just trying to scare me. Cause like he had every opportunity in the world while I was like, you know, out there to like sneak up on me or position himself better so he could actually attack me. But he put this huge snow mound between us that he obviously wouldn't be able to climb over easily. One, wearing a mask and two you know, having a robe on. So, you know, it wasn't like he was getting anywhere fast. And yeah, so, I mean, I think it was, I think it was all an intimidation thing, but it worked. And not like that. So it kind of makes me think, like, back to the note that I got from the cult, how they were talking about they've, like, cleared... I forget the word, the wording of it, but more or less like how they've cleared the road for me of my stalkers. So I need to start like providing them with like intentions or whatever, um, or like, you know, information. Cause they, that's what they, that's what they really want. They really want information. So that's what it kind of made me think of, but I don't know, dude. It's it's a it's such a weird situation. But I've calmed down now. I'm good. <laughs> you know what's funny about random nauticas? I don't get as worked up and thrown off by these uh by these situations as I used to. Like, you know, it still scares me. It's still like it's like sh it's shocking in the moment. But I kind of like calm down and you know whatever get over them like kind of a little bit quicker um uh, i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but i think and the thing is is i should have seen the dude 
because he wasn't hiding very well. Like, it, it seemed like he was just squatting down over there. But I think there was, like, some rocks. Maybe he blended in with the rocks. Or maybe he moved into position. Because the thing was, is I was just, like, you know, a little bit ago, I was just filming myself like this with my camera, you know? I was filming myself talking to you guys. And the light was, like, right in my eyes. So I was still, like, recovering my night vision. Um, getting my eyes used to, like, just the normal light. And, uh... Yeah, um, I don't know. I should have seen him, though. I should have seen him. I think I'm just getting uh, complacent with keeping tabs on my surroundings. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just getting too comfortable. I don't know. But I'm always going to check my areas as soon as I get out there from now on. <sighs> well, that does it for today. Um... Guys, let me know your thoughts and comments in the in the uh, in the des in the description. In the con let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments, dude. You can tell it's been a long day. And you know what I forgot at the beginning? Let's let's switch this on to more fun note instead of you know being drab and dreary. Um, I forgot to say in the beginning to leave a comment with Randonautica or something. So how about this? If you guys have made it this far in the video. I know you're part of the Curse Crew. Leave me a comment that says Randonautica. What should we say tonight, guys? What should we say? Randonautica. I don't know. <laughs> Randonautica is a fun time. Yeah, if you guys made it this far in the video, make sure to say Randonautica is a fun time in the comments. Also, drop me your, your theories, your hypotheses, everything. Um, so we can, we can figure out what, what the hell's going on. I, I don't know. Um, anyways, all right guys, I'm going to get going. Like I said, there's, I'm like halfway home. Um, there's snow coming in and I want to get home before, you know, I get trapped by the snow. I don't think it's supposed to be bad, but it's still going to be enough to make life annoying. So I'm going to get going guys. Um, thank you for watching. Big shout out to our, our patrons and our YouTube channel members who made tonight's video possible. And uh, yeah, that does it. Um, new video probably coming soon. But uh, all right, guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for joining me on this video. Have a good night or day wherever you're at. We'll see you very soon on the next Randonautica. Peace out, guys.